If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you a simple trick which will help you to filter out the traffic based on the resource path. If you are working on web HTTP HTML, then definitely you will be using this option called mapping and filtering. Filtering will help you to exclude certain traffic during recording or code generation. Assume that your application has Google Analytics or Google Advertisements, but if you want to exclude those traffic during recording or code generation, you can add the traffic which needs to be excluded in traffic filtering section. For example, here wildcard.googleaps.com. So this will exclude the request which has the googleapis.com. The wildcard stands for any subdomain. But if you want to exclude a traffic like this, for example, www.example.com slash analytics. So if you want to exclude the calls which has the resource path of analytics, then this particular option will not work. This mapping and filtering will work only on host or IP addresses, not for the subfolder or the resource path. So this is one information. The second thing is this uh, checkbox, a regular expression. If you are using just a wild card, for example, like this, star dot example dot com. So this will work even if you are not checking the regular expression. If you are using just a wild card, no need to enable the regular expression. But if you are using this parenthesis or some characters inside like this, then you need to enable the regular expression. So this is another important point you should note. Now let us see how to exclude the traffic which has uh, which, which are based on the resource path. So I have generated a simple script using newtools.demoaut.com uh, using a web URL mode. Here you can see a lot of calls which are making to images. So logo.gif, html.gif, box add onegif So a lot of gifs file. So basically I want to exclude the traffic which has the subfolder or resource path of images. Or I have to exclude the calls which has the gif. So how can I do this in a simple method? The first thing you will think is by manually removing it. But manually removing is an option but if you want to create some 10 scripts for a release or there are a lot of GIF calls, so that will be a very tedious task. Or you can write some scripts in WHL or EB script. But I'm going to propose a simple solution using regular expressions. So the regular expression will find out the calls which has the GIF and then you can replace it with some blank value and then you can run your script within a second. For that, I'm going to use Notepad++ because some of the regular expression in ViewGen is not working. So go to your Notepad++ and paste it, the complete script, and press Ctrl F. And here I have already formulated. Let me go through this regular expression. So first thing is the left boundary is web custom request and inside I have the one of the regular expression which means accepts anything and it will identify the GIF. So basically logo.gif or html.gif something like that and then it will identify the multiple lines till it identify the last string and then it will close the parenthesis and semicolon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and paste it in uh, replace and make sure your cursor is at line number 14 because 
if you keep the cursor at top some of it is identifying this so i'm not sure why because uh, it will identify for the gif uh, string that is why so please place the cursor on line number 14 and hit next so now you can see it is identifying only this request and if you click clicking find next you can see all the gif request will be identified using this regular expression okay now it has reached the end and it will ignore the other hotels call so now let us replace with a blank value here so just in the replace with just hit space and while finding out make sure you selected the search mode as regular expression and uh, check this box matches new line and replace and keep the cursor here line number 14 replace 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 or you can hit replace all so now you can just delete the spaces here copy this and go back to your vision and paste it here and here also you can remove these calls now to make sure it is working fine just hit compile compile script is passed so basically you need to make use of regular expression if you want to remove the filter uh, traffics uh, which has based on the resource path or subfolder so this is how you will do it i have already submitted a feature request to filter out the traffic based on the subfolder or resource path i think microfocus will be working on those uh, feature request and we will be getting a utility in next couple of releases i hope so if i get any update i will definitely update in my channel so please stay tuned and please make sure to check out my latest udemy course on trueweb uh, you can use the coupon code youtube for a lot of discount and please support me and thanks for watching have a great day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel